don't know what it is. Maybe I have some kind of Stockholm syndrome. I'm like, then I'm not being kicked. And I feel like I'm not going to, you know, somebody has to tell me, jump off this cliff. And I want to feel that fear, but exhilaration. I am a tiny person. Now, I cannot compete with like all the giraffes around me. Yeah. Hey, this is Aditi Rao Hydri, And I'm in Cannes with Anupama Chopra. <laughs> and uh, I hope you enjoy this interview. Please like, share, subscribe to Film Companion. Aditi, it's so lovely to see you in Cannes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to pretend that this pool and this villa has anything to do with me. <laughs> we're, we're just like kind of, you know, uh, coasting on your glamour, basically. basically. <laughs> but I'm so happy that you're here and that I'm here. <laughs> Listen, you always say that um, at shoots, you're like a little child soaking it all yeah. in. Is that how you are right now? Yes. And you know, I was so determined that, you know, it, you, you can feel very overwhelmed yeah. by everything. And before I came, I was almost, you know, I was almost telling people, shut up. Because everybody was like, what are you wearing? Have you locked what you're wearing? Aren't you nervous? What's going to happen? Oh my God, it's such a big deal. And I was like, everybody, shut up. <laughs> like, just let me go there and be a child. <laughs> right. Because, you know, you dream of coming to a place like Cannes. And um, it's, I mean, it's one of those bucket list kind of things. Mm. And, and then you're like, you don't want it all to be like dimmed by the pressure that one feels and it's natural to feel that pressure and also like my team and I were talking that we don't want to feel the pressure to al also do extra and more and mm. just you know because the place in itself gives you so much like there's almost like a halo around yeah. everyone yeah. over here and it's a magical place yeah. so um, I want to continue these four days like I almost planned it and I said I will be myself and I will enjoy myself mm. and I will be excited every day and just take it all in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there is, there is, Aditi, so much conversation about that red carpet, right? Uh, and about the kind of pressure it puts on yeah. women, about all of that. Like, what's your view? Is it, is it that, you know, you, it's an opportunity? Like, how do you process that whole experience? Sabya was uh, chatting with me and he was like, you know, I am a tiny person. Now, I cannot compete with like all the giraffes around me. Yeah. And uh, this will need to be cut, I'm sure. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, but you mean giraffe in a good way. Uh, yeah, it's all women. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. And I'm an actor and I'm a tiny person and it's fine. Now, I, I'm okay with it. You know, so I have to be comfortable with who I am and yeah. how I present myself. Yeah. So, I'm going to attempt it. 100% I'm going to falter. I'm going to do some really stupid, goofy things. But it's fine, that's also me and yeah. I will deal with it when I have to deal with it and people are going to throw tomatoes at me and I'm going to be disgusted, I'm sure. But it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Absolutely. And the microscope is natural Yeah. and I have to learn to deal with it <laughs> and learn from it, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. Aditi, what brings you to Cannes? Um, so I'm here with Vivo India and um, I love that they're celebrating cinema and almost like something that I feel so strongly about cinema which is that it's just a way of life yeah. so it's the we have a hashtag my life in cinema and um, that's what we're celebrating here with Vivo India and uh, this is my first time at Cannes so I think uh, it's special that it's happening in this way yes absolutely <laughs> uh, and and so much to celebrate yes <laughs> And you know, and you told me this before we came here. You said it's like where the whole world is shut out, and the only thing that um, that Cannes is all about is cinema. Yeah. For and ten days, it yes. feels like all that matters is film. Yeah. And we know that's not true, but it's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dil behlane ke Exactly, <laughs> and it's like this magical wonderland. Yes. Okay. You know, um, there's so much conversation right now, Aditi, about. Uh, South films and South versus North and the yeah. fact that Hindi films aren't running and South films are running yeah. and as somebody who's equally embedded in both industries, how do you think we can make this conversation more collaborative rather than us versus them? Absolutely. You know, uh, when I uh, joined the film industry, uh, Hindi is a language I know but 
I I've told you this before. I joined the films because I wanted to be a Mani Ratnam heroine, and yeah. somewhere at the back of my head, I was like, I have to be able to speak Tamil somehow, because that's the only way I'll I'll be able to do it. And maybe because I grew up watching uh, films from different uh, regions, countries, languages, uh, because my mother always expo I mean, my family, my mother exposed me to cinema. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't grow up watching so many Hindi films actually. So in my mind there was actually no difference. Yeah. It was about directors, content, stories and how it makes you feel and it was as simple as that in my head and maybe that's a very simplistic view but today when I look at the way that cinema is I feel actually that's a really nice way to be and you know t a lot of people who have recently interviewed me s have s actually said to me you know you uh, you know, you started doing this before it became a Absolutely. trend. Absolutely, yeah, you but, were you were ahead of the trend. But I, I feel like honestly, there were a lot of other people who also did it, possibly not um, in a in a planned kind of way. And I also didn't plan it. I did mm. it because I genuinely just wanted to do it. And I, and I also felt like I heard so much of you know this thing of oh you're underutilized and mm, you know there's so much more that you can give. And then I found that. Mani saw and all the people that I've worked with in the south in in the south I don't even want to say in the south but in the various languages yeah uh, they gave me such incredible content and mm -hmm. I was so excited being an actor being a heroine and matching the two I mm -hmm. mean merging the two and it was such a lovely space to be that I didn't look at it as this is a Tamil film this is a Telugu film this is a wonderful film this is a wonderful character um, you know this is this is a director I want to work with and I look at it like that and and I feel like um, Today, the world has gotten closer, and mm. it's not just Telugu, Tamil, Hindi, etc. And somewhere we have to be consciously aware of the fact that the fact that we even say South actor, yeah. what does that even mean? Yeah. First of all, yeah. there are many languages there, yeah. and um, why do we say till today people say regional cinema? Why, like you know, every area is a region, uh, and that region has wonderful cinema, incredible people directors, uh, you know, visionaries who, who tell beautiful stories. So I think we need to, s we really need to say, and I, and I have been saying this in my little way, that we are the Indian film industry and we are Indian actors. And hopefully, like I'm, I would do a Spanish film if I got a <laughs> chance, you know, <laughs> because it's really about the director and the storytellers and the team and what yeah. you get to do yeah. in those films. So I, but I do feel it's, it, I do feel it's happening, but each one of us, um, has that responsibility to constantly, you know, be woke actually, yeah, yeah. and uh, and understand that we have to be together, and together we are stronger. Look at the uh, cinema that's coming out of the uh, Malayalam industry or the Tamil industry or the hits that are coming out of Telugu. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and it's wonderful, and we must celebrate them. And and I feel somewhere. You know, it's not fair. Suddenly, you know, they, it started doing bet, uh, really, really well, and then we're like, okay, this is also us. We need to be more inclusive. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and we should have done it earlier, but today we need to proudly be more inclusive. You know, rather than say, but why aren't we doing this? That's also we. Yeah. We are all together. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's all one. It's all one. Yeah. 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 So Absolutely. it's not us versus them, them versus us. No, we are one, and we should actually tap into all that is available to us, you yeah. know. It'll, it'll raise the bar for everyone. Yeah, and yeah. it's chota mu badi baat. I mean, I'm, I'm still learning, etc. But I really feel it. Mm. And I have, even when I started, you know. <laughs> Aditi, you're also doing um, two very exciting looking series. Yeah. Jubilee with Vikram Mutwani yes. and Hira Mandi with Sanjay Leela Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> okay, I said it, you didn't. Mm. Uh, is there anything you can tell us about either one? Jubilee, I can. Okay. The other, I don't want to say anything because I'm a director's baby and I'm like, let them do whatever they need to do. If you tell me, you have to kill me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I always say, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, Jubilee has been incredible. Yeah. Has been an incredible experience. And I always say, you know, for me, m a lot of the joy of being an actor and... Uh, being uh, whatever like heroine actor star whatever it is you know I don't even like those terms but uh, being a part of the industry is the journey of making that film and I promise you it's the most exciting thing everything else is possibly a pressure trapping yeah. 
you know, in my mind. When I'm on set and when I'm with incredible people, like I always say, I'm a five-year-old child. I really enjoy myself. Uh, it's it, There's just so much passion and mm -hmm. on a good set. And I feel Vikram sir has that, you yeah. know, and, and a set also has it. Because uh, again, the director is the captain of the ship and how they work really determines how the rest of the team works. And it's, again, it's not about language. It's not about region, it's about the people who are making that film and what their intention is and how they, you know, drive everyone and Vikram sir works long hours and it's fun yeah. and I've done it before with Mani sir and even Sanjay sir and a lot of people that I've worked with but I enjoy it. I don't know what it is, maybe I have some kind of Stockholm syndrome. I'm like, then I'm not being kicked and I feel like I'm not going to, you know, somebody has to tell me, jump off this cliff and I want to feel that fear but exhilaration yeah. and till I'm uh, on the, at that point, I'm like, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so when I You're a masochist. <laughs> I must be but I really enjoy it and I, and I love that feeling of, you know, this is your playground and you know how you, you feel as a kid where yeah. you're, you, you, there's no fear. Yeah. But there is, when you climb that jungle gym, there's that thing of, okay, I might fall, but you know somebody's going to catch you and it's fine, they'll put you back up there. Yeah. And that's the feeling I love. And when, like Vikram sir said, we had that and it was period, it was the Indian film industry, it was, you know, iconic, I mean, based on iconic yeah. people yeah. Uh, and iconic moments and badass people. Like, I love what I'm playing and very few people look at me like that. I mean. I, I think a lot of what we do as actors is also determined by how we look and yeah. that's, you know, casting yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. natural and of I course. don't fight it. Yeah. But sometimes it's so nice to be cast out of the mould, mm. you know, mm. and to be pushed and to be, to just do something different and it's a lot of fun and yeah, I really enjoy it. I can't, I can't tell you that it. much more. <laughs> I hope you like it. But we had a lot of fun making it. it was Atul Sabarwal is yes. work and he's so wonderful. Yeah, and I used to always tell him, how do you write? <laughs> because he, the way that he writes is like, the sentences are kind of reversed. I don't know, it's like, a, a, but it's amazing. Yeah. It just rolls off your tongue very interestingly and I think it helped me. Nice. Be that person. Yeah. So yeah. it was interesting. Can't wait to see it. Um, I have to ask you, Aditi, in an interview you talked about how there was some agency that was repping you yeah. um, and you had a meeting with them and they actually sat you down and said to you that you're beautiful and you can dance and you can act uh, but you don't have the one thing that they can sell and you said you went home and cried. Yeah. How do you get past stuff like that? I think only, uh, and I have to be very honest, it doesn't always come from your own strength. Mm. It also comes from Possibly finding the right people who celebrate that, you know, uh, who celebrate you. you. Yeah, for who you are and right. what you can do. So, I, and I genuinely feel like I did struggle with it for mm -hmm. a while, mm -hmm. and I felt I, because I was just like, basically, you want me to lock everything up and say, now this is the one thing that you sell about me. And but, but I feel like, how can I separate dance and music from me? It's a very important part of me. Or now the way that I look, which a lot for a lot of people is a problematic thing mm. uh, and or the fact that and for another lot of people the fact that I love to act and I want to you know push myself as an actor that can be problematic but I'm like but why can't I be a uh, sum of all these things and the things that I love and the things that I love to do and maybe someday somebody will find it and celebrate it and I feel like uh, for me very genuinely one uh, working with Manisa because it was a childhood dream and there is something about again like uh, magical about you know that little girl's dream coming true so there's that but apart from that the fact that he really you know I think uh, polished me for me mm. like uh, whether it was just letting me look the way that I do not putting any makeup on me just being like he wanted to see like the veins in my, you know, he would like say, just let her be, just let her be. And like he made me sing in the film. I sang with Rahman sir at a live concert. I danced. That was almost the first time that people saw me dance. Yeah. And that really, uh, I think, uh, made me feel like 
okay, I can be me and it's fine. And, you know, here's somebody who I, you know, joined the movies because of. And, you know, I have so much love and affection and um, uh, nurturing from mm. this person. And that's why I say he's like a father, he's like a mentor, like I've learned everything from him, you know. And because he also just let me be like a good parent yeah. in many ways, you know, and also pushed me. So I think it started from there. It didn't only start from within me. It's not easy. No, no. It's not. And I can yeah. say it, but it, it wouldn't be true, you know. But, uh, but uh, there is some belief, like, within me, which uh, made me constantly feel like, it's okay, it's fine. Like, I will be this, I will be this, I will be this. Like, I w it's a simple little silly thing. Like, I'm tiny, I was always, always told to wear heels. And I was like, or, or makeup, for mm -hmm. that matter. And I was like, but why can't I go out with my hair in a top knot and sneakers and no makeup? But there's a thing that I can do it. One day I will do it. One day. I but the day that you are ready, you do it. You know? Right, right. It has to come from you. And it might, yeah, it has to ultimately come from you. But you might get a, you know, a, a nudge from somebody, a nurturing nudge from someone. That's lovely. <laughs> nurturing nudge. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. And, and it helps, yeah. you know. Yeah. Team helps, yeah, or ev everything. It just, something just happens and then you just flow from there. <laughs> <laughs> well, here you are at Cannes, flowing away. I um, hope. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great <laughs> festival, Aditi. Thank you. And, Thank and you so all much. the best for that magical red carpet. Thank you so much. I hope it will be flowy and magical. <laughs> <laughs> it will be. It will be. I Thank really you. hope so. Thank you. <laughs>